So, all right, hit H, and let's go ahead and select. Actually, you know what? Let's come to our modifier. Select P array. And what we're going to do is let's go to particle generation. And in particle generation, we'll do emit start at 5. 5 will just make it start at the fifth keyframe, give us time to let the play start. Speed will actually, I, I believe what speed does is it controls the explosion. So you can kind of play around with it on your own time. See that if I raise it, then it, it makes it expand a little bit more. So what, what do we have here? All right. Next, let's come up to our deflector. Shows you the deflector. And let's raise the bounce to, or let's drop the bounce down so it's not bouncing so much. I'll just bring it to, let's say, 0.5 and friction to 10. What friction will do is it won't let it slide so much. So let's say this is what it looks like when it's at 10. Now let's say we put friction to 25. You see, it just kind of blows off. I think what I want to do is bring the speed down again on the P array so it doesn't go too far. Let's deactivate this piece right here. P array, let's drop the speed down to 15. And let's go back and see what that looks like now. Yep. Looks good to me. So what we're going to do come up over here and you can hit front at this area and just drop it down so we have a good front perspective view and then hit play again let's look at that it just drops so I just made this real simple over here I'm not gonna get too much in depth with it if we render this now this is what's gonna happen you see the Jazio text is still there we want to make that disappear so remember that we had gone ahead and set it our our emit start at 5. Let's go ahead and go one frame over to 6 and then hit auto key. Make sure you have your text selected. Hit H, select your text, and what we're going to do is right click object properties and hit 0. So we have that animation, but if you notice, there's two keyframes, so it's just what it's doing is it automatically set the um, the opacity is at 1 right now and then it slowly goes to 0 so all we're gonna do is just take this and move it one frame right before it so now if we hit and then set, take your auto key off now if you hit play it disappears so if we go and render it again it's not there another thing we need to add now is a explosion the actual fireball and so we'll actually go up over here to our create again and in this, we're going to use, what are we going to use? Come up to this little thing that looks like a tape measure. I don't know what it is. I'm going to really learn and find out what these names mean. Use atmospheric apparatus, sphere gizmo, and just drag it and make sure you just fill the whole area. Check your top and your left view. Make sure that it's all covered. Now, nothing is going to happen yet if you go to render. There's not going to be anything over there. Let's go ahead and activate this window. I'll hit Alt W. Alt W will give me a full frame screen over here. So let's go ahead and get that fireball. So we have Sphere Gizmo. What we need to do is add the fire. And how we're going to do that is we'll come up to the Modifier tab. Hit Add. Fire Effect. And OK. So now if you render it. Ho oh, ho ho so fresh and so clean clean there's our fire so if you wanted to go but what we want to do is we want to set it up so you hit fire effect set up and we're gonna move down over here and set it to explosion set up explosion and we want to start it at five is what five is right when we went ahead and began the explosion and just go ahead and X that out so if you hit five and you see it's right there nothing has happened when we go to the next frame 
six. See, it's just a little ball right over there. It's just starting. So by the time it goes to eight, the explosion has come pretty big. So basically, that's what it's going to look like right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and render this, and then we can just see what it looked like over here. Okay, so basically, we're going to go ahead and just set up um, the render. Uh, I don't know if you already know how to do the render over here. Actually, you know what? I am going to go ahead and... No, I'm not going to put a sky back there. But anyway... You just hit this little teapot thing and let's go to our options and set this. I'll make it very simple. So all you do is you come to render output files and I already have a folder where I set my stuff up. Now you can use any one of these. I like to personally use PNG image file and bring it into something like Adobe Premiere or After Effects to render it out. It makes this uh, space very small or the size relatively small but for this I'm just gonna go ahead and make it just a movie file and I'll hit save and I didn't really have to mess with any set oh yeah before we do that because we wanted to come in sequence hit active time segment 0 to 30 and then just click render I see it's going pretty fast we only put an omni light in there so with the omni light it makes the render a lot faster uh, Look into getting Dreamscape or Afterburn. Google that. Make sure you check that out because there's some real co cool things you can do. Um, in fact, I might show you a little quick thing with the Dreamscape of how you can add the sky background, make it look real slick. So we can kind of see right there it's going real fast, and we see our explosion. And yeah, remember, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my blog. Uh, you see, we did, we only left it. We set the render time to go to about 30, so the fire is still there. It would have gone a long time, but basically, if we wanted to, you know, because I wanted to make this real simple, I didn't go too much into that. But if you wanted to, for it to stop at a certain frame, you would just go back to your setup explosion. End time should have been 30 on this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and re-render that. And yes, whoops. All right. So there's our explosion going on over there. It looks pretty nice and it's rendering relatively fast. We don't have any uh, kind of backgrounds going on there. Now, if you really want to get a more in depth tutorial of this explosion, text explosion, I recommend you going to www.maxafter.com and you can find the tutorial to go really in depth over there. So check that out. I do hope you get a chance to do it. And, you know, let me know, post up some of your videos whenever you're done with this and let me see what you uh, came up with. All right. So this here is going to get done. I'm just going to cut this right now and then we'll just bring up the render. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll go and look in our folders over here. Our projects. Where did I put it? You know, why did, how did I forget my own thing? My tutorials. My first tutorial. All right. So we hit play. Woo! <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as the one that, you know, I showed you guys, but at least you can play with it. Make sure if you want to know all those different areas, the gizmo, make sure you come into your help menu over here your auto 3d mask help and you can what you can do is put in p array and it'll actually have the parameters roll out you can use the parameters roll out and it'll show you what each does pick object object text and it tells you what each of these things do so anyway that's it for the tutorial i hoped i, I hope i did okay with this and well if i did okay then you all will be learning pretty well. So anyway, thank you and I will be done with this and it's time to X out. 
So now check it out. Render it. When you're done, look at your work. I'm sure you feel good. Take some time to practice, and I'm sure you can get things looking sharp the way you want to. Now, I guarantee you're going to get so good, people are going to be ready to pay you. When they're ready to pay you, life is going to get sweet. That's when friends are going to come out the woodwork, cousins you haven't even heard. Yo, third cousin from Joanne's side is going to pop up. They're going to want to scratch the surface and get some of that dough. This is what I do. If anyone comes to that, what you do, you got to keep this ringtone on your phone or you got some sound device. When they ask you, can they get some money? Hey, this is what you do. That's it. You tell them like that, and they out of there. Peace out. Jab side.